want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about a Florida A&M postgraduate, Terrica Williams, who decided to post a new picture right in front of the Florida A&M Rattler at the university. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Terrica Williams, who was a postgraduate who received her degree from the illustrious Florida A&M University. She decides to take a new picture in front of the Rattler. There's a lot of people on Twitter and other social media sites who are praising her or basically lusting after her. She's a beautiful woman. She's highly intelligent. But I think this was the wrong move for Mrs. Williams. We have a society where everyone is thirsting for attention. She shows her beautiful body, and I'm talking about this is a beautiful black woman. And instead of her concentrating on her intelligence and her beauty outside and inner, she goes Kim Kardashian. Look at me. Look at my body. And this is not where our young ladies need to see. You never seen anyone stand butt naked in front of Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Brown, Michigan, Stanford, because they have respect for that institution of higher learning. This young woman in her own mind is thinking about herself and not how her institution will be perceived. We all know that Florida A&M is a black college and we know how people on the outside think of our institutions. What she did was disrespectful. Now there's a lot of people in 2022 who will say that's fine what she did. But there are certain institutions that you should have ultimate respect for. In those that educate the majority of our black people should have that respect. And she defamed Florida A&M. See, we have a society right now where thoughtism is okay. This is what it has become. Our women feel as though the only way they can get maximum attention is to show their bodies, twerk, do all these things that are inappropriate for women to do of her status. And see what she fails to understand, if she wants to go into the business world or higher education or education within a public school, this is gonna be held against her. Do you want someone around your child who is doing this? Do you want someone in your corporate America who's half naked representing your country, your company. This wasn't a smart decision by a woman who is highly educated, a woman who has the ability to reach the highest levels of her profession. But what does she do? What does she do in the end? She reaches back to thotism. You know, a lot of this, what I call the strip club culture, has got into the mainstream when it comes to our beautiful women. And our beautiful, educated women feel is that they can't get the attention that they rightfully deserve unless they act like those women who are twerking for dollars. 
when you see educated women like Meg Thee Stallion, who graduated from TSU, which is another black college, or you see Representative Tierra Mack, who's a senator out of Rhode Island, you start thinking, this is what I need to do to get the attention I think I deserve. And that's wrong. Tierra Williams, intelligence, her beauty will get her a long way, but she didn't have to show her body. She's a beautiful, beautiful woman, beautiful body that she could have showed in private to any man and they would have loved it. But it seems like everyone wants the world to see themselves. She's got a whole bunch of likes on her picture. She's got over 20 some thousand, I guess it might be higher, on Instagram. And you know that will grow after this. But I have always thought that black people must respect their institutions that belongs with their educational their theological institutions their business institutions because what makes other communities stand above us today is that they respect the institutions that they have in their communities and that's why they become more successful that's why you see Jewish people succeed. They respect their religion. They respect their businesses. They respect the foundations that make them the strongest community damn near in America. And I'm not going to put it all on Terrica Williams. Because Terrica Williams wouldn't do this if we didn't have a strong institutions in our community that say that this isn't right. Right now in the black community, I hate to tell you this, this is the wild, wild west. You can do whatever you want. And there's not going to be a lot of resistance. She felt as though that she wanted that attention, but she didn't want to respect the institution that just gave her that degree. I know many of you going to disagree with me, but this is how I feel, and I know there's plenty of people out there within the black community who will say the same thing. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.